Item number SCP-2027 Index Space-Born Organism Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures A space-based telescope under Foundation control is to observe SCP-2027 at all times. If SCP-2027 is detected by satellites, it is to be dismissed as an asteroid. Class C amnestics are to be dispersed to terrestrial astronomers that detect SCP-2027. If any data demonstrating the existence of SCP-2027 is published, data must be seized and Class A amnestics dispersed to all readers and authors. Unmanned probe A-2027 is to remain within 5,000 kilometers of SCP-2027 at all times and is not to enter any area within 1,250 kilometers of SCP-2027. Description SCP-2027 is a space-bound organism of extraterrestrial origins. Current estimates place SCP-2027 at between 200 through 350 kilometers in length and 100 kilometers across. SCP-2027 maneuvers using several jets of gas on each end of the body. Gas emitted by SCP-2027 appears to be made up of a mix of hydrogen, methane, and argon. SCP-2027 lacks a primary propulsion method and is propelled entirely by its own inertia. As of, SCP-2027 has been confirmed to be made up of several zooids, similar to siphonophores such as Visalia physalis or the Portuguese man-o'-war. Each zooid appears to perform functions such as propelling SCP-2027. SCP-2027 is covered in a hard exoskeleton that is made up of several hundred individual flat zooids. The number of gas jets on SCP-2027's exoskeleton has not been determined, with as many as 40 observed at times. SCP-2027 feeds on strong concentrations of gamma radiation. On... When radiation from Gamma Ray Burst 130427A reached SCP-2027, SCP-2027 ceased all activity and began spinning slowly. An increase in movement speed was noted four days later. SCP-2027 appears to be traveling directly parallel to the solar system's orbit around the galactic center. However, between 19 and 19, SCP-2027 changed course slightly. Times. SCP-2027 was detected by the Redacted Gamma Ray Observatory on 19 when it eclipsed the Redacted Pulsar. The complete lack of gamma radiation near SCP-2027 was logged into public record. Foundation agents dispensed Class A amnestics to all researchers who had come in contact or were aware of the data. SCP-2027 is currently 0.02 light years from Earth. Current projections show no risk of SCP-2027 impacting Earth or any other body in the solar system. SCP-2027's closest approach to the solar system will be 0.009 light years if no course corrections are made. Addendum number one. On 20, a Foundation-operated probe launched on 19, rendezvous with SCP-2027. However, when the probe entered a zone 100 kilometers over SCP-2027's body, probe A-2027 was struck by a powerful gas jet, damaging the probe's docking claw. Probe A-2027 has since been ordered to remain in a 5,000 kilometer orbit above SCP-2027. Addendum number two. On 20, SCP-2027 split into parts and reassembled itself after hours. SCP-2027's speed has been noted to have risen by meters per second at this time. Addendum number 3. On 20 a large sphincter opened on SCP-2027's side and a large mass of matter was jettisoned. A thin appendage extended from SCP-2027 and connected to the mass of matter designated SCP-2027-1. Three weeks later, jets of the same gas emitted from SCP-2027 was emitted from SCP-2027-1 and the appendage was disconnected. SCP-2027-1 then accelerated away from SCP-2027 in the direction of the galactic center. Addendum number four. 
on. 20. Probe A2027 has detected multiple sporadic emissions of argon, methane, and hydrogen from the areas SCP-2027 has passed through. These signatures are of compositions identical to SCP-2027's maneuvering jets. Note. These creatures may be native to the high-radiation regions in the center of the galaxy. What we are witnessing now may be a migration of sorts. Doctor. 